Today, we've got a marine animal that's in a lot of strife. A hawksbill sea turtle, critically endangered species with multiple fishing hooks that it's actually swallowed. They're different to the other turtles that we usually see in here because you'll actually notice that bill that they've got looks a bit like a bird of prey. And this is what they use to graze and, and feed. So you often see these guys chewing off little bits of algae and they'll get right down into the coral. Sorry, buddy, we'll get you better. Unfortunately, they often have trouble with marine rubbish. You can see this is actually the fishing line that the hooks are attached to here. I suspect he's been floating for a little while. I mean, that's an oyster. That's crazy, on. yeah. And then he's got some weeds and they're growing across his bottom as well. So does this sort of indicate that he has been like this for a while, yeah. probably? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it does, unfortunately. Unfortunately, the fishing hook that he's swallowed is not only affecting his internal organs, it's also affecting how he's feeding and he is quite malnourished. If these fishing hooks aren't removed, there's no doubt he will die. So what's okay. the plan now? Well, I'm going to anaesthetise him. Right, OK. Enough that I can put an endoscope down there yep. and see if I can pull it out using the endoscope. Wow. In order to get oxygen to this animal and to anaesthetise him, we're going to have to open up his mouth and actually put a tube all the way down into his throat. When you actually go in with the endoscope itself, what are you going to be looking for? Um, basically, I'm going to try to follow the um, fishing line down okay. um, to a hook. Um, right. And once I find the hook, then we'll, we've got these little, basically, pincers or grabbers yep. just to see if I can dislodge the hook and then pull it out. So mm. I'll try to get them out this way first. I'm just going to have a quick look down and just see if I can see any of these hooks. Dr Wendy's got her work cut out for her. Not only is there the stress of working with an animal on the brink, we're in such a tight space. I mean, we can hardly see anything. There we go. I can see one of them here now. Like, so you can, I can see the hook? literally see it. Right. Really? How's it looking? Uh, it's caught up in his esophagus itself. Such a tight spot. Yeah, that's the problem. Is it tight fit in here? Yeah. Oh. There you go. How's that? Yeah, that's not going to be comfortable. That's incredible. So that's one down. Unfortunately, we've lost the second hook off the line. Oh. So it'll be interesting to see how I go getting this next one. It's going to be even tougher. The difficult things with sea turtles is their esophagus isn't actually a smooth tube like ours. It actually has all these little finger-like projections called papillae really? going okay. all the way down. So the papillae can actually hide um, ah. the the gear, yeah. basically. Yeah. I'll have a look on in this, with the scope and see if I can see it. Alrighty. Okay, Ooh, so yeah. can you see what I mean by, see those little, that's crazy. little projections there? So that's a papillae. It's super hard to see. Yeah, so he's got lots and lots of those going down into yep. his esophagus. Okay. Oh, look at that. There, there she goes. There it is. It's not very far down either. So hopefully we might be able to use these little grabbers here. So, okay. So they're a bit longer, so that we, I might be able to get a bit further down. There we go. There it is. This is where it gets difficult because I'm trying That's to get tough. two bits of things in at once. At the moment now, Dr. Wendy's just really trying to locate exactly where that hook has gone in and actually using those little clasps to actually pull it straight out, which is, I mean, a lot easier said than done. But just the tiniest little movement can just completely change it. Yeah. So tough. So it definitely requires the ultimate steady hand and just a Look lot of patience. I'm right next to it. You're so close. So close. OK, so um, there is always a possibility that I can cause more further damage in here just by pulling on papillae instead of the actual hook. It's just right next door to it. It's right seriously it. right next door to it. So close. Even just getting it out as well could mm cause some damage. There's so much stuff in the way, it's making life uh, rather difficult for me to get it out. <laughs> We're in such a tight space. It's not gonna work. We have to take out the endoscope oh, and come up with a plan B. So I can see it this way as well. 
All right, you can see the hook? Yeah, I can see it here. So you're gonna try and get it out just lying aside? Kind of, yeah. It's just looking at me, the little oh. monster. I got it. Got don't it. let go, Wendy, don't let go, don't let go, don't let go. It's so close. Oh, yes. Well done. Wow. Right on, you can let go now, Robert. Oh, well done. Whoa. That one was barbed like crazy, too. Gee, that's stressful. <laughs> you're like, you're right on it and it's so close. Oh, and wow. there's actually fairly minimal damage in there as well, which is really? good. Really? Yeah. Oh, good. Yeah. So. What a relief. So, fingers crossed now they're out. Yeah. And we give him a bit of pain relief and some antibiotics, and hopefully we might be able to get him out sooner than later. All right, good luck, Billy. See you soon. Billy is going to head straight over to our turtle recovery centre, and he's going to be undergoing round-the-clock care. We'll be feeding him up, making sure he gets nice and healthy, and that he's able to swim. Then we'll do an assessment to see if and when he's ready to be released. Go on, you. Wakey, wakey. <laughs> All right, Billy. All right, Billy. Got to get you back out in the wild. All for the best. Today, we're releasing Billy the Hawksbill sea turtle back to the wild. It's going to be game on in a second. Oh, he realises what's happening. You can see he's looking so much oh. better now. I mean, he's healthy. Oh, he made that a little bit easier for us. He's flapping around like crazy. OK, OK. He's in such good condition, he's definitely ready to go. Put this one over. Thank you. We're driving him all the way down to Wellington Point, about an hour and a half from Australia Zoo, because that's exactly where we found him, and it'll be the best spot to release him. What do you reckon? Oh, I think this is great. Yeah, really good spot. It's protected over here. We've chosen this nice protected beach area because it's really calm, all right, Billy, you ready to go home? And that means that he can swim on out there, maybe have a little bit of time just to get his bearings, and then once he's 100% happy, he can go wherever he wants. You all right, bud? Starting to get deeper. This looks like a good yeah, spot. <laughs> all right, Billy. Well, this is it for you. You're back home. Ready, buddy? Here you go, mate. He's out of there. <laughs> Look at him go. Oh, that's awesome. How good is that? And he was really keen to go. As soon as he touched the water, he was just straight out of there. And that's perfect. For a species like this that's critically endangered, they need our help more than ever before. So this is, it's pretty special. Great job. Excellent. That was awesome. <laughs> Loved it. Perfect. Nice little cool off as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 